No, that's the gen, yeah. <laughs> The Quranly app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Muhammad Hijab had an interview with Jordan Peterson and this was before this whole drama of footage emerging as you guys can see of Jordan Peterson entering Masjid Al-Aqsa. I mean the I think correct word is storming because the settlers alongside Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson had entered. Now Jordan Peterson is somebody that is precise, that speaks, that's you know, knowledgeable. He's a doctor for God's sake. He's a psychologist. So for him to plead ignorance when it comes to the Israeli-Palestine issue is not really believable. So for him to just claim that he's some innocent guy that's just been brought along with Ben Shapiro is absolute, let's face it mate, it's cow dung, yeah? It's, it's bull crap. That's what it is. It's nonsense. So Hijab uh, recorded this before this whole drama and Peterson wanted to speak to the Muslim community in a masjid, in a mosque, and he did so. And there were some interesting points that were discussed and he admitted a few things about his message to the Muslims. Hijab put it across to him that, I mean, you know, I'm sure you could see that this was not really appropriate and he admitted that I did it very badly and I wanted to instigate a conversation. But let me make this point very clear. How on earth are you going to instigate a conversation when you have joined Daily Wire whose bosses are Ben Shapiro and the other bloke and they have strong links with Israeli services, be it Israeli defense, Israeli police, whatever. Yeah, because and I'm going to link this in the description because I've already done a video in which I have detailed yeah, the, the links of Israel with Daily Wire, whom Dr. Jordan Peterson is now a part of. In fact, if you look at this interview on the bottom right, you can see DW, and DW is Daily Wire. So that was and is a concern. And that's why people do call Jordan Peterson a wolf in sheep's clothing, because he does have a Muslim audience and he talks about mental health and mental health is very important. And I will give props to Dr. Jordan Peterson and I'm not going to look, take the good, leave the bad. All right, we get that. Yeah. And with Jordan Peterson, his strength is mental health. He's a psychologist and he talks sense. He's, you know, he speaks uh, well when it comes to the whole LGBT thing and gives the evidence from the other side that gets the LGBTQ people thinking as well. Yeah. He's not attacking. He speaks, you know, from academia. And I think he's very effective. And for us to completely write him off, I don't think it's fair either. Now, the thing that actually concerned me about Dr. Jordan Peterson was this. Yeah, when Muhammad Hijab said, if I give you evidence, convincing probabilistic evidence with regards to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, being a prophet, would you accept? And his thing was no. That the Prophet Muhammad, we believe is the final prophet, right? That he was a true prophet. Would you be willing to become a Muslim? No. We and this actually reminds me of a verse of the Quran, chapter 2, verse 6, where Allah says, Those who have denied, whether you warn them or not, there is no difference. And that's the point, guys. With some people, we think it's all in the argumentation, mate. If I give a solid argument, mate, that person's going to believe. Yeah? But that is you mistaking Tawheed and belief in Allah. Because belief in Allah tells us, Tawheed teaches us that yes, we take the medicine from the doctor, but it is Allah that cures. Yes, we perform an action, but it is, the essence comes from Allah. Yeah, and this is Tawheed. And it reminds me of a very famous atheist called Christopher Hitchens. His brother Peter Hitchens was asked, you know, what's the evidence that convinced of the existence of God? And he said, look, it's not about evidence because to everybody, evidence is different. To some people, the smallest thing will be enough that because it satisfies a curiosity that they had. It might be a personal experience or something. So evidence is subjective. So people say, but there's not evidence of God. What nonsense? Because some people require scientific evidence. Some require philosophical evidence. Some require ethical evidence. Some require personal evidence, like my prayers and my personal experience. I did this and God did this for me and that. So it works for them. So for Dr. Jordan Peterson 
to give such a blunt answer, I don't think it's really suitable for somebody like him. But it does and should make us think that, look, the Kamal or the grand nature of evidence presenting is not in our control to make somebody a Muslim. The Prophet's uncle Abu Talib did not accept Islam. The Prophet tried, but he did not. Why? Because the gui guidance comes from Allah. Yeah, so what can we do? Sometimes for some people, they just act like, a, it's like Habib Narmagomedov. He said the non-Muslims don't read Quran, don't read the Hadith, they read you, the people. So some of you might think, I don't know, you know, very fancy uh, arguments. I don't know the contingency argument, the cosmological argument, the ontological argument. No problem. Just act like a Muslim, live like a Muslim, behave like a Muslim. And then people will gravitate because people hear very grandiose lectures about Islam. But they say, but the Muslims are doing this. I saw this guy in a, in a pub and he says, Muhammad, what's going on here, mate? It's like when I was at university, one of the, my non-Muslim uh, colleagues, he said, come, come to the pub, mate. I had a beard up to here. I was like, uh, mate, I don't go to the pub. And he goes, well, so-and-so Muslim went to the pub. So the point is, guys, we need to become people of action, not people that just talk. And that's why when Ali radiallahu anh became the caliph, became the khalifa, he ascended the pulpit and didn't give a fancy speech. He ascended the pulpit and he said, you are in need of a rajulun fa'al la qawwal. You are in need of a man of action and not a man who just speaks. And that's who we are in need of today. And yes, look, Jordan Peterson, whatever he is, but I mean, with all due respect, he has exposed himself as not a genuine person in regards to religion and theology. And he proceeds to say, and his point was that, look, you know, Christians gravitate towards me, Jews gravitate towards me and this but you're not afraid to call yourself a Christian. Then, I mean, if Islamic evidence is presented to you, why would you deny that? So it's inconsistent. Yeah, it's inconsistent. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd just share this with you. Feel free to see the, uh, the full lecture on um, Jordan Peterson's channel. May Allah bless, bless Muhammad Hijab, mashallah, and increase him and the other brothers in the da'wah scene that are, mashallah, raising the flag of Al-Islam. See you guys next time, inshallah. And Jazakallah khair to the Patreon subscribers. Continue subscribing because it's through your donations, alhamdulillah, we are able to present such great videos. See you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum.